Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a creator YouTuber that's trying to have a yellow no buy. And today I am here with a third part in a series I really like to do and you seem to like it as well, or I do hope that you do. A while back I saw an It's Makeup Corner Nicky Raven do a collab video where they reacted to some of their old looks and I thought that was so fun. I've done two other parts of this, I will leave them down in the description, and today it is the third part. So I have just went back on my Instagram feed and I did start from the beginning and then I'm just taking 10 looks at a time and react to them and like see what I feel about them now and what I think I could have done better. And I just think this is fun to see like how you evolved and I hope that you appreciate these as well. So I'm going to scooch and then I'm going to start. And I was like in my last video I wasn't like to the edge. Okay, I hope this will work. So I'm going to start with this look. This is a look that I did. I had this in a favorite videos and I have talked about this look so many times. This is a look that I did with the Metallic Mysteries two I think from LH Cosmetics and I love this look. It's a red eye and a green eye and it's only... I did use two of the pens from LH Cosmetics as a base, put these two shimmers on and I love this look. As you may know I love to do two different eyes. I do that from time to time. I think it's a really fun way to like spice up a look and I still do love this look. If I would have done this again, just in shimmer green eye and a red shimmer eye, I would have taken like something in my crease as well and I would have chosen other colors, but I do love this look so much and yeah, I think doing two different eyes is a really fun way just to do something that looks fun but it's not like that complicated and if you haven't tried to do two different eyes, you should really, really do it. The next look is a look that I did with a Paulina palette that was between Paulina Beauty and a Blush Tribe. And I have talked about this in so many of these videos, in all of these videos, that like I always, no, not always, but I often have like a look that I think of or like okay I want to mix these colors and I do it and it doesn't always turn out good <laughs> and I think in this look it's I think if I just worked with it a little bit more I think it would have looked really good but I am not like thrilled about this look at all but I really like remember how much I love the Paulina palette it was one of my pe favorite palettes for a long long time and Blush Try was one of my favorite brands for a long time and I followed Paulina for so so many years and I just thought it was so fun to play with this palette and I just wanted to like do all the different color combos that you could do with this one and this color combo not a super fan of but not like super bad. Then we have a look and that I have done with apparently an Urban Decay palette. I do not know which palette I have done. If you look from palettes with when it comes to Urban Decay. What? This I have to check up. This was in January 2019 so almost four years ago, three years ago, three, four years ago, and have I done, was it with the Naked Basics, Ultimate Naked Basics maybe? This is, I think with this look, like, if you don't like neutral looks, I guess this is what you think of when you see a neutral look, because it, is this maybe the most boring look I have ever done? I think so. The lipstick though? A red one from Nabla, love it, but yeah, because if we compare this to the, <laughs> the next look, they are two completely different things. Because this next look, 
this has been this is I did it with the tropical wonder from certify I love this look um I so it was for such a long time I wanted to do a rainbow like on both eyes like doing two different eyes but a rainbow eye and I thought when I bought this palette that this was the first palette that I had that I could do this look with and I do really like this look I think it is a really fun look to do I haven't done it many times I have done one with the like pastel pop where I did kind of rainbow but not a rainbow rainbow but I do like this I think this is if you love colors and want to try two different eyes I think this is an amazing idea to try it because it is it looks it looks neutral to have a rainbow across your eyes but it looks like a complete look like it looks like one eye look even though it's two different eyes I hope that you get what I mean but I think that is a really special and easy way to do two different eyes but you want it to look like one look I I, I hope that you get what I'm saying with this one. I just think this is a really fun way to do two different eyes, but it looks like it's not two different eyes. And the next look is a face-off that I did with one of my friends, Prue. She doesn't upload anymore. <laughs> I do miss Prue. Um, and we did a face-off with, I think this was a palette from Blush Tribe that I don't have anymore I don't think I can't even remember the name of the palette Munasa maybe? and okay can I just say that I missed to do face-offs that was so fun if you don't know what that is a girl that uh, it, her <laughs> name is Danielle Schmidt she's no longer active on YouTube either she started like doing a collab with like a palette bingo so you get the same shades but you're doing like you can do whatever you want with these eyeshadow shades and that was a really big thing a couple of years back and it, it was really really fun and it was so fun to collab with Prue and the, the look not my best work the inner corner I don't know the lips idea what this lip is like that is a color that I never use on my lips anymore but I do like this look because it is a collab with one of my friends and I love to do collabs the next look is one of the looks that I did with the zodiac palette from Colourpop this is my first look and I did a series back in 2019 that where I used the Colourpop zodiac palette and i did use each of the shades every month so for january what is the zodiac sign then taurus no taurus is the Tuxen. i'm swedish if you didn't know i do not know i have to check this Capri is it Capricorn? <laughs> yeah, it's Capricorn. Um, and yeah, I wasn't super happy with this look. This is a like smoky eye. Mm, it's okay. That series was fun to do, even though the palette was shit. And I will try to come up with something similar to do next year. I don't know what yet. Um, but yeah, it was a fun series to do, even though I didn't like this look. The next look is a first impression. <laughs> and I like hate that I don't write with palette it is. But I think this must be with the good sports. I've tagged Colourpop Cosmetics and if I'm not mistaken, I think that is Ebb. And if you don't know good sports, it is one of like the unicorn palettes, I would say, from Colourpop. It was, I don't think it was limited edition, but it was a palette that has an amazing green shade. The Ebb 
is one of the most amazing shades I have ever tried. I'm not the only one that love it. Um, but yeah, Good Sports was something special when it came out. I still though think it's special, but maybe not that special. Maybe it's nostalgia. I don't know. But yeah, this look, I could have done more amazing things with it. And I think like if you see this look and the look I have on today, like my switch with doing half cut crease, you see that like now it's almost, the shimmer is almost all over my lid and here it's just not even half of my lid. I do like this more than I like this one, but yeah, Ebb is an amazing shade. This is not an amazing look, but Ebb, one of the best shades I have in my collection. The next look is a look that I did with... Oh, here it is actually. It's the Tropical Wonders and the Paulina palette and the Hasina Chu palette. And I love this look. I've done this look more than once with different colors and I just love fading it from a black to a really bright green. I think that is so fun. I do love me a green eye with a red lip. I love it so much and this was like in the beginning. I, I remember when I did this look, I like sat down, just play with colors and was like, I think this is going to be a really fun look to do. And I was right because this look is so good. And I have done it with, I can't remember which palette, but I have done it with other shades than these. And uh, I love it so much. This is one of my favorite combos, like I love it. Then the next look is my first impression with the Dragon Child and I did a halo. I love to do halo eyes if you didn't know. And the Dragon Child on me, that was a palette that I really, 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 really wanted to love. I did not the first, or I liked it the first time, but then I did a free looks one palette and I did struggle a lot. And then we made up. Me and Dragon Child, and now I think it's an okay palette. It's not my favorite from Nargery, and it's not my favorite palette in my collection. But this, I remember like using the shimmer in this one. I was stoked, and this red ish that I have, it was so pigmented, and I do like this look. Um, I have nothing to complain about. I do really like it. This is definitely a look that I can do again and I think I would do it almost the exact same. Um, so yeah, this look I do really like. Next look is um, the last look actually. Yeah, we are <laughs> at the last look. Um, this is also one of the looks that I am like, okay, I want to do this and I'm going to do it and I'm going to try to match my lips. I do not like this look. I I know where I did came from. I know like what I thought and you know me <laughs> doing whatever I feel like but doing a matte halo and um, can be really good and it can be really like it's harder to get like a smooth line with the halo and the shade on the outer corners and especially then when you do it with a black it's kind of hard like to make it good match i think if i would have taken a shimmer pink either on the whole halo or just to like combine the black and the pink i think it would have looked so much better i love this thought i don't love how I have done it. This was with the Infinity D palette, the black one, and then the Radioactive stack from Melt. I like, we don't talk about the lips because they do look awful. But um, yeah, I think this is a cool color combo. And I don't like never do black halos, like a black on the outside and then something else maybe i should do that maybe like a black and a silver halo black and a gold halo maybe i should try that 
Uh, because I do think it's possible to do a black halo, but I think it's best to take a shimmer because it's easier to blend. Some halos are really good to only take mattes, no problem at all. This was a problem. And yeah, that was all the 10 looks that I was going to talk about today. I do really hope that you have liked this video. And I will absolutely try to do a black halo. Which color I should mix it with? I don't know, but I will figure that out. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!